This video will show you how to use locked clipboards in the Lightorama Sequence Editor. So before getting into exactly what that means, let's just review about clipboards and uh, multiple clipboards. So let's make a little pattern here. Let's say a little cross pattern and let's copy it. Now I have copied it into a clipboard and specifically I've copied it into clipboard number one because that's the selected clipboard. In fact, right now it's the only clipboard. But I can add a new clipboard, clipboard number two. If I switch to clipboard number two and let's say I make some other pattern and copy that, because clipboard number two is selected, when I copy, it will be copied into clipboard number two. So if I paste now, it pastes from clipboard number two. But if I go back to clipboard number one and paste, it'll paste from clipboard number one. And in fact, you can have a whole bunch of these clipboards, and maybe you're switching back and forth between them a lot. But maybe this clipboard number two, what you have in there, uh, you want to, uh, to keep it. You like this particular fade up pattern, and you don't want to accidentally overwrite it, because if you're switching between these a lot, and you're copying things, and you're, you're pasting things, maybe you'll accidentally forget to switch away from clipboard number two when you copy something. And when you do that, whatever you wrote into clipboard number two will be overwritten. For example, if I, uh, right now clipboard number two has this stuff in it, the fades, but if I want to copy this portion here, and then later on I go to clipboard number two and I paste and I'm expecting the fades, I'm not going to get the fades. So those, those fades are just gone. I would have to find them again and copy them again. And I don't want that to happen. So instead, let's copy these fades again. And now I will lock clipboard number two by clicking on this lock button next to it. And you'll see the button changes. Now it looks like it's locked, whereas these locks look open. Now if I go and uh, with clipboard number two selected, I try to copy this area. I can't. It's grayed out because this clipboard is locked. So locking a clipboard will prevent me from accidentally overwriting it. Now, another thing is uh, a lot of people copy and paste by using the Control-C and Control-V keys. If I select this area and Control-C, it beeps at me, and that's just to warn me uh, that copy didn't really happen because this clipboard is locked. If I really did want to copy into clipboard number two, I would unlock it, and then I could copy. And now I can paste what I have copied. But while it's locked, if I try to copy something else, nothing happens. Even if I use Control C, nothing will happen. If I try to paste, it'll paste this stuff that I had copied before. It won't paste this stuff that I uh, attempted to copy while it was locked. So there you go. It copied, I, it pasted what was previously copied instead of this stuff that I tried to copy while the clipboard is locked. So I guess that's it. I hope this helps.